this is the time of year when a lot of our high school and college graduates would typically be going through their graduation ceremonies. And it's interesting because graduation ceremonies are called commencement ceremonies. Commencement means the beginning of something, but this beginning happens at the end of something. I believe it was Seneca that said that every new beginning comes from some other beginning's end. And so uh, what should we commence doing as we look around at our uh, communities, as we look around at our country, uh, maybe we should commence loving our neighbors better. Maybe as we uh, are looking at maybe coming out of this season of quarantine, of a season uh, where we've been a little more locked away, maybe we should commence gathering. Maybe starting in small groups or starting with a select group of friends, but commence activity that we've maybe not engaged in in a while. Maybe we need to commence having conversations. What conversations have we put off having that would be helpful to have to maybe bring reconciliation, maybe bring hope, maybe bring the gospel to someone who doesn't know. Maybe we can commence serving. Maybe there's a, a ministry, an area of the church. Maybe there's a, someone you can serve that lives next door, down the block, a, a friend who you haven't seen in a while. Is there an activity that we should commence doing? You see, sin isn't just doing the wrong thing. Sometimes sin is not doing the right thing. So as we look at this new week, as, the, as we uh, come out of this season that we've been in and maybe begin to enter into a new season, what are the things we re-enter more of a normal schedule? What are those things that we need to commence? What are those things that we need to maybe push aside and, and not bring with us into the future? But may, what, are, you know, I'd say, you know, what are those things that we need to begin doing either for the first time or bring with us that we restart doing to help those who are around us. As we look to uh, the future, as we look to a brighter tomorrow, um, maybe we ought to see this as a period of commencement, that we begin doing things again to bear fruit for Jesus, that we begin to show the fruit of the Spirit of love, of joy, of peace, of patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness, self-control, that we are a people of, of love to those who are around us, that we serve our neighbor, and that we help them see Jesus long before we tell them about his love for them. May they see his love in us, first and foremost, and then hear of his love and how they might um, uh, uh, gain that same salvation that we have. Hey, I love you guys. I hope this finds you doing well. Uh, I hope that uh, as, as the weather continues to get better, as um, things begin to open up, would we be able to re-engage once again with one another, uh, with God's people, with God's mission for our life, with his word, and that we might um, be a people of hope for those who are around us. I love you guys. I'm praying for you, and I hope we get to see you real soon.